Shalom, Ya Allah. I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and to the Akwaf listening in. I'm back at you today with another lesson entitled All Hell is About to Break Loose, man. Alright? All hell is about to break loose. You see the stage being set. You've got the famine, uh, uh, the man-made famine, the global man-made famine on the, on the rise. All right. You've got um, um, hyperinflation pretty much settling now. You know, um, the other day, I'm in the UK, <clears throat> the petrol price was at like, what, 168p in the morning. And in that same, um, that same day, in the evening, it was 172, man. So that's all um, setting off. Um, you've got shortages of baby formula. All right, you've got pestilences. All right, you've got these new monkey pox on the rise now. So hey, man, it's, it's about to it's about to be wild out here, man. You know. Um, but without further ado, I'm just gonna go through these scriptures, man, and let these scriptures speak. All right. So this is Jeremiah 30 and 7, and it reads, "Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it." It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but this, but he shall be delivered out of it. And who's that? That's the elect, man. All right. Um, verse eight. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. All right, because we don't have um the physical chains on us, but we've got the uh. Uh, the, those mental chains, man. Our people don't believe that we're still in captivity to, to this day, man. You see? Let's jump down to verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. All right? What does it say in Revelation 13 and 10? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now, if you study your history, you'll learn that the Israelites have been under <clears throat> to lack you, have been under captivity to every um, um to all these nations, man. All right, which is why we're gonna put all these nations under our feet into captivity. But the worst captivity we've served is under Esau, Edom, man. So he's gonna um he's gonna uh, serve the most rigorous captivity, and after that, after the, after the a thousand years. Of, of, of his captivity, he will be burnt away, man. Gathered the, all, all the Edomites will be gathered into a pit and burnt, never to be seen again. All right, pursuing to um, Obadiah 1 and 18. Um, continuing on, Jeremiah 30 and 16. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon thee I will give for a prey. Okay, all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey, man. Which is why Psalms 110 and 3 says that thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. You know, the Lord is going to raise up his men with spiritual power, man. And they're going to be, um, um, you know, unstoppable forces, man. That no man can come through, man. Ooh, you know what? Let's go to, um, uh, let's go to the book of Micah real quick. Let's go to the book of Micah. Micah 5 and um, Micah 5 and 8 and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who if thou go through um, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver. So, hey, man, the Heavenly Father, he's going to raise up his elect with power, man. He's going to raise up his elect men with power. All right. Thine hand, verse 9, thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries and all thine enemies shall be cut off, man. All right. That's why it ends in Jeremiah 30 and 16 saying, and all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey, man, because we're going to be willing in the day of thy power. Alright, um, 
for um, verse 17, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seeketh after. And you see, they've tried to make, they've tried to, um, 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 you know, take our heritage out of remembrance, man. You know, a lot of our people don't know who we are. Um, if you can read Isaiah um, 1 and 3 for that, you see. From there, let's go to, let's go to the book of Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. All right, Michael is, is, is uh, one of the uh, uh, great archangels under Yahweh Shai. You know, that, that just goes to show how bad it is going to get out here, man. You're going to have to have Michael uh, fight for us, you see. Or in the Hebrew, Micah Allah. Um, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that time even to that same time uh, we're heading into that time of trouble now man you know um they're warning you about these events now you've even got talks of blackouts in summer in the u.s which will more than likely spread across the entire globe so hey it's, it's going to be catastrophic out here man all right and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written into written in the book and that's talking about the elect all right so, hey, man, it's, it's, it's going to get bad out here, man, you know, and uh, um, the scriptures warn of this, you know, but people still don't want to take heed, man. You know, people still think that the Bible is just a, a, um, a fairy tale book. All right. But when you go to Matthew 24 and um, 12, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. And that's exactly what's happening now. But let's jump up to verse six and it reads, and ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet all right and we've already seen and are seeing the wars and rumours of wars man all right look at the whole um russia and ukraine situation uh the russia and israel situation all right so um, um things are, are building up man for that great day um, verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines all right we've got talks of famines and pestilences we now got talks of monkeypox and earthquakes it's earthquakes happening in various parts of the world in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows all right verse 9 then shall they t uh, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. All right. And that's that's exactly what's getting to ready. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen now, man. The great um, the great demonization of the Israelites, all right? the, the, the men of the Lord, all right? the elect, you see. Um, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And that's exactly what's happening, man. You've got many false prophets deceiving many, leading them to destruction, man. The blind leading the blind, all right? To the path of destruction, man. That, the, that these things, these uh, catastrophic events are not around the corner. Let's go to the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra uh, 13. Uh, we'll start at verse 29. Behold... The days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. You know, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. The strangeness of his salvation, man. Verse 31. And they shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. One people against another. And one realm against another so that's all hell breaking loose man even one realm against another that's because you know you're gonna have um the chariots of the lord fighting against um you know the fighter jets of of of, of the world man damn that <laughs> we're, we're heading into some um 
some crazy times, man. You know, but people still don't want to seek the Lord whilst he may be found. They want to seek him when they're in the midst of their, of their, of their troubles, man. Which is, you need to seek him early, man, before he turns his face. All right, let's go to Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. You know, read Malachi 4 and 1. You know, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, man. That's talking about that nuclear destruction, you see. So, hey, it's about to be ugly out here, man. But before that nuclear destruction, there's going to be a time of great tribulation, you know. And we're going to need, um, we're going to need divine intervention in those days, man. You know, uh, we're going to need the Heavenly Father to lift up a standard against them, as it is written in um, Isaiah 59 and 19. But we're going to close out here. This is just a quick little lesson. And, um, um. You know what? We're going to start off in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, Yahweh, fainteth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Isaiah 55, my ways are higher than your ways, man. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increase of strength. Even the youths shall be faint and weary, and even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And that's what we're doing, man. Because we come to the realization that, to be honest, there's nothing more you can do. There's nothing better you can do than just wait on the heavenly Father, man. All right. So Isaiah 40 and 31, <clears throat> but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. So we're going to be able to fly. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. So we're, we're going to tap into that, to that source of infinite energy, man. All right. We're going to shine at the brightness of, 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 of the stars, you see. Um, and let's close out here. In Isaiah 41 and 14, and it reads, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So we need not to panic with all the events that's happening, man. We need not to fret because our Lord will fight for us, man. He's going to raise us up with spiritual power, man. You know, you have to believe. All right, and I, and I see it happening, man. I can see us brothers, you know, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect, being raised up with that power, man. Just kicking much ass. All right, let's read on. Isaiah 41 and 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. All right, thou shalt thresh the mountains. And you know, the teeth is representing power, man. All right. Um, thou shalt thresh the mountains, the governments, and beat them small, and thou shalt make the hills as chaff. So all, all this whole power structure, the mountains and the hills, is talking about the, uh, uh, the powers that be, all right? Your governments, your smaller governments, and so on and so forth. They shall be made as chaff. So that means they're going to be um, dismantled, man. They're going to be broken to pieces. Their system is going to fall, all right? We're going to, it says in the book of Daniel, that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, man. And that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. Verse 16, Isaiah 41 and 16. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. So that's what we're going to do, man. Um, when the Heavenly Father raises us, raises us up with that power, we're going to glory in the Holy One of Israel, man. You know? So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next time I say Shalom.